We're moving on to our 12th bout of the evening. This one I'm looking very much forward to. It's gonna be an exciting one. Yes, indeed, both of these fighters. We go from the heavier weights. We saw 225ers, 205ers, 185. We go down to our lightest weight of the evening thus far, 118 pounds. And we are preparing. We're going to see Tyler Gray will be the first man up the stairs. I've Do not forget, the ladies and gentlemen, as we're moving on through the night that and you're not tweeting and you're going on social I media telling everybody about what's happening here at Melrose Ballroom. Do not forget to July. tag RFC Promotions. You can find us but at to see R these gentlemen at their stature, standing at 118 pounds, is surprising. They look so strong and I'm excited to see their technique tonight. Tyler Gray will be coming to the ring with a two and three record out of all-star Muay Thai. Tyler Gray coming out of all-star Muay Thai, his coach Billy Bello and Dominic Mulhern. Tyler training for three years with all-star. This former high school wrestler has had a lifelong love for fighting and he truly is a student of the game, really studies the greats in it, like Sang Chai, Sang Tanoi, Samart. And he styles himself after the great Roberto Duran, Manos de los Piedros. And at 118 pounds, these guys are gonna be going fast. He clearly likes to study, and he studies well. Considering who he looks up to, we expect to see a lot of technique at this weight division and a whole lot of speed. He will be facing someone who we saw in our first K-Series event back in January, the Bengal Tiger, M.D. Haig, with a three and four record out of Glory MMA. Master Mike Sensei, Jonathan Ruiz. He's been training in Muay Thai since 2018. He has fought in the WK National Tournament, so he's no stranger to pressure. Recently stepping up and fighting in the WAKO Tournament. He was a thrilling fighter when we saw him in January. He's known for his boxing. He told us, you know, the audience is in for a treat. Watch out for a kickboxing spectacle. And there is no better place to see a kickboxing spectacle than right here at the K-Series. We will go to Mike Falvo for the official announcements. Moving on down the card for K-Series kickboxing, we move on to our next contest scheduled for three two-minute rounds at 118 pounds. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner, Representing All-Star Mixed Martial Arts, Tyler Gary. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Representing Glory Mixed Martial Arts, MD the Bengal Tiger. Jordan Bartlett got the action started for Gloria MMA earlier this evening with a big win. And we see MD hoping to continue that in that direction for their team. But I think Tyler will have quite a bit to say about that. Three scheduled two minute rounds in the 118 pound division here at K Series. You can see the speed kicking off already here at the K Series. Liam Tarrant and LG Pinnell joining you. MD Haig from the red corner, Tyler Gray from the blue. Great technique being shown by both gentlemen. Ooh. Beautiful left body kick by Tyler. And what I really like to see from Tyler is when MD stepped in to throw a knee, Tyler just pushed him right off, back into his own punching range, and continued him with his com combinations. That sort of control and ring generalship is very important in a fight like this. Beautiful leg kicks by Tyler as he blocks a head kick coming towards him. A really nice way to end those combinations off with that Absolutely. Exclamation point of a low kick. Absolutely. I love seeing hook low kicks, especially whenever the hook is to the body. We're going to see more of that type of action later this evening in our main event with some Dutch kickboxing from Iris. Oh, nice fakes there and, and kind of distractions from Gray. One leg up, one leg up, and then lands with the, with the punch. Both Ooh. of these guys have beautiful stances, beautiful balance, beautiful composure, and strong combinations. I think that leg kick that we see Tyler Gray throwing is really going to come in handy a little later.
I love the guard of MD as well. His hands are up high and tight with his elbows in, and it's preventing anything of Tyler's from hitting his head. Seems, especially when you're dealing with this kind of speed you've got going on, it's got to be a really tight guard because the higher the speed goes, the lo lower the margin for error because those shots just come at you so fast. One round in, they give each other a knuckle bump there at the end of the round. Lots of respect being shown. Neither of them sitting in between rounds. They don't need the rest. Nah, they're ready to go. They're just getting warmed up. At 118 pounds, we can expect to see great cardio from both of these gentlemen. I think MD used that round to kind of calibrate, get an idea of his range. And I think we'll see him turn up the heat in this second round. Tyler started off very fast, though. He didn't seem to need any warm-up time. Yeah, MD may have been trying to feel it out, see, see who works. And that's always an interesting thing in the first round when you see, okay, what is he throwing? What is he good? He may be waiting to watch. Okay, where is he open when he throws? Not absorbing too much punishment. But it's tough in that three-round fight because you've got 360 seconds in total to convince the judges that you're better at this than the other person. That's right. You've got... Three two-minute rounds, six minutes in total, and that's not a lot of time. It's not a lot of time at all. You can't give a round away. You can't take any time off, although if you use that round to calculate and get an idea of what your opponent's looking for, you may be able to use it to your advantage in the second two rounds. We'll see if MD is able to do that tonight. Lots of fireworks right now. Nice job by Gray stepping back and landing that teep. Ooh, very solid head kick thrown up. Gray able to have the defense up, though. I like the movement of Tyler, both legs and head movement. Good, teep. Again, throwing a teep at the end of the combination is so useful in these exchanges because it pushes your opponent out of range. You land your combination, and it's almost like you deny them being able to counter you by throwing that teep there at the end. It's almost like a game of tag. You're just winning that combination and racking up the combos and the points, exchange by exchange. Nice low kick there from Gray. You're right, those thigh. low kicks and those teeps at the end of the combos, that's the period at the end of the sentence saying, I just won that combo, period. Oh, Haig with a nice adjustment there. Gray went for the low kick. Haig with a right hand shooting immediately out. I love MD's tenacity. He is pushing forward. Longer combination there by Tyler. And you see MD bringing up those shins to block. I think he's starting to feel those leg kicks of Tyler landing. That's a lot of power coming in. You might not think, folks, that a lot of power comes out of a 118 pounder, but velocity is mass times acceleration. So they may not have the mass, but their acceleration is so fast and at this that their force is just built up. At this weight class, if you can, if you have the speed advantage, right, and you've got a lot of uh, punches and kicks flying in the round, volume matters. One heavy leg kick compared to 10, maybe medium mm. leg kicks. It makes a difference. And that will be the second round as we go into the third. A extremely difficult fight to judge so far, in my opinion. Yeah, it's been great. I've seen aggression from both sides. I've seen ring generalship from both sides. And I love the combinations that they're stringing together. In this third and final round, I think MD is gonna try to step forward a little bit more. I see his corner amping him up, telling him to come forward, let his hands fly. It really w could make, in a, in a fight that di that's this close and difficult to judge, this third round could make all the difference if you could make a good impression on the judges that you deserve that victory. There's absolutely no reason to hold back in the, thirst in the third round. There are no rounds after it. Empty the clip. Yep, let's go. Bang, bang. As we get to our third and final round here. Referee Marcel Varela calling him to the middle. Here we go at K-Series. MD Hagen from the red corner. Tyler Gray from the blue corner. Oh. Beautiful big body kick there. And teeps again by Tyler to keep him in range. Okay, Good knee and landed there from Haig. 
Nice knee, but again, no clinching here. With the kickboxing rule set, they've got a knee and get right back to work. Haig slid right out of distance there as he pushes forward. I love the combination hook cross, and we're seeing it come out of Haig right now. It gets those hands up and opens that crossing action of that right hand to come right down the center. Gray doing a nice job landing those low kicks. As you mentioned before, Haig has been starting to step out of the way to not give Gray that final point of the low kick. Gray does a good job of moving his uh, targets around. He's throwing the teep to the body. He's throwing it to the upper thigh to keep his opponent from marching forward. And then he's throwing it to the head. I've also seen him faint with it a lot because he knows that Haig is probably looking for it. Haig landed a left body shot there as Tyler stepped in and landed a left hook to the, to the head of his own. 30 seconds remain here in the fight. And just as I said at the beginning of the round, at this point, you just want to empty the clip. That's a phrase I got from my brother in my second fight. From Grant? That's right, Grant. Yeah. He attended my second fight, flew all the way up from Texas, and from the distance at the end of the third round, I heard him yell, empty the clip. And boy, I tried. There's one thing we know, you don't mess with Texas, and you do not mess with either of these 118 pounders, and that is gonna be the fight. We will go to the judges scorecard. Now, this is the kind of fight, judging wise, it could come down to what each judge sees from their angle or what they Absolutely. may be scoring differently. It's That's a very, very close, close fight. I'll be honest with you, they finished that fight exactly the way they started it. Their exchanges were just as even, they were both moving forward and back, and they both look confident here at the end of the fight, so it's really hard to say which direction this will go. Yeah, and it's tough when you're fighting too. I mean, you can, you can attest to this, LG, when you're fighting, you see what you're landing, and even if he catches you with something, if you know it doesn't hurt, you're like, that didn't hurt, doesn't matter. So it's tough to, you can see why both sides may feel like, yeah, I did enough to win that. Absolutely. We will go to Mike Falvo for the official Let's decision. hear it for one hell of a fight, folks. Oh, after three rounds of kickboxing action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges have scored the fight in favor for your winner by way of unanimous decision. Out of the blue corner, Tyler Gary. Unanimous decision. Uh, we didn't hear the scores, but I would have to imagine it was, um, you know, two rounds to one. That seems like a fight that would be a, um, two rounds to one for him. But unanimous decision goes to Garay. Again, a very tough fight to judge and a great, great performance for both of those fighters.